One of the things that always amazes me about YouTube is that from one week to the next, I'm not quite sure about where the content will come from or what ideas I might bring to camera to share. But this video now is something that was inspired by a comment left by my friend Tor on a video last week in which I had just come off a Zoom call with Nottingham Writers Studio about how to have an author channel. And I talked about the fact that sometimes you just have to hit press record and talk to camera and share about the ideas and the things that are on your mind so that you create content from that recording. The talk was about creating an author channel and I said that often you just have to focus on what's on your mind at the moment and talk about it and share about it. For example, the top book on the pile just here is Under the Volcano by Malcolm Lowry and that was a book I read again last month and I recorded a video about how to interpret a new country and a new culture through the process of reading what other people have written about and the journeys that they have had in that culture. Last week in the video in which I was discussing how to create basically an artist channel and for me that means a writing channel for me as an author, I said you just have to get on with the process. My friend Tor saw the video and he wrote something in his comment which has stayed with me all week. He said I like the way Nick that you dealt with the importance of progress over perfection. Watching the video again, I can see where maybe that was something that was covered in my conversation for a few minutes last week, but it hadn't been intentional, but it is really important. Last month, I set the goal of finishing a manuscript, and this is the manuscript it had been written, but it needs an edit. And I'm only halfway through the edit process. This section has been edited, but this section, you can see that's chapter seven, still has to be done. And we're at the end of May, so I'm, I'm way behind my target. Maybe the idea of artistic progress is that I have done half the edit and I've you know, done my traditional red to remove and black to amend process of looking at a manuscript and, and getting that process somewhat done. But I am only halfway through and I've got a lot of work to do. We all deal with frustration, procrastination, delays. So we're stopped in what we want to do because we don't have control over so many things. So what? Everybody deals with what you and I are dealing with and yet they still produce a story, finish a poem, carry on with a painting, finish the pottery and go through their artistic process because that's what they want to do. I haven't produced a new book for a year. My last book, the fifth one, was a Spanish language translation which I largely translated myself and then had it checked by some colleagues. But that's a Spanish edition of my Climbing Out of Debt book. But it's a year since that book came out and I feel like I am dragging a sledge of rocks uphill on a dry day where there is no movement, there is no easy flow. But however, however, I've had an amazing year. So many positive changes have happened. So many good things are taking place at the moment. So I've made progress. I haven't made as much progress on my three current manuscripts as I would have expected. But as my friend Tor commented, and it really sparked these thoughts, Progress over perfection is far better than perfection and no progress at all. If I'm guilty of any creative mistake in May, it is that I've been trying to meddle with one, two, three things at once. It's a bit like that stage image from my childhood when somebody would come on stage and they'd set one plate spinning on a bamboo stick and then another and another and another. And what they were really ended up doing is running around the stage madly trying to keep each thing spinning and then at the end pick up all the plates and all the sticks before something collapsed. If you and I try that, it doesn't work. What has my May been? It's been progress on several different manuscripts, but nothing actually completed and brought to the table, brought to a publishing platform. So my goal over the next week is to finish the final seven or eight chapters of editing on this first book. By the way, great message here. Happiness is a cup of coffee and a really good book. You can't argue with that one, so thank you, Emma Bridgewater. Recognizing the error of my ways this past month is that I've been trying to spin too many plates. I just need to look at the week ahead 
Finish the edit on this book, which is quite simple. It's literally just the, those black and red pens and retyping the manuscript, sending it out to some non-fiction art readers and then proceeding to publication. If you have a writing project to work on during the month of June, what yardsticks can you give yourself to say, okay, from this point to that point, I can determine that I have made progress with characterization, with story arc, with making sure that the symmetry of the story is coherent all the way through. For example, the geography, and the physical settings of the story, the character development and the movement of those characters, i.e. the personal growth of those characters because of the way they have bumped up against aspects of the story and had to change or make decisions in which we've seen the flaws in their character and the development of their character. Those are some of the things that we might have to look at. If you're writing non-fiction like me this month and you want to finish a manuscript, are the learning points at the end of each chapter coherent with one another? So in this particular manuscript, I have got, at the end of each chapter, three journal notes in which I am really summarising what the reader has gone through in the previous pages. And then I've got three action steps where I'm taking the reader on a journey to look at what can they do next based on the learning and the instruction provided within that chapter. If you're working on physical creative products and you're taking something from your studio out into the marketplace for sale to your audience group, what do you need to do? What might the steps be by which you know you've made progress during this coming month? So let's make some progress in this new month. What do you need to do to refresh your approach to the project? What resources do you need to renew your levels of activity and get yourself to a point of finishing something? And the third point is, how do you refocus so that you know by the end of the coming month your energy and the allocation of your time and your physical resource into the project will give you the yield or the result that you want and by which you can say, I have made great progress with this project and I'm happy with that. Because as we're looking at it now, it's more important to make progress rather than to have perfection and no progress. All the best to you in this coming month. And remember, happiness is a cup of coffee and a really good book. It might be the book that you write.